So this is an app that took me ridiculously long to um, to figure out all the different pieces, so I thought I would just share it. It's basically a React front end talking to a Go back end that's providing an API with all the data. And it also has authentication. So the idea is basically you have this kind of home page here, and then if I click on data, this is a protected page, so you can see the login thing, and then a, a, a login app. So first I'm just going to uh, use a set of fake credentials and you can see I'm clicking login and it's not letting me in. So I've hard-coded admin admin as a valid um, account that will definitely work but if I wanted to look that up these credentials in a database or something I could do that. Um, but I'm going to click login and now I've got access to other parts of the application. So you can see this data um, page has opened up as well as in the header. Um, now you can see the name of the uh, account that's logged in. So this is a little more information that's been turned in. So the username is admin, the email is admin at example.com, uh, which matches up here. I've got an API key and I've got an authentication token. And this is a JSON web token or a JOT um, as they're called. And this is basically used to authenticate calls to the Golang backend. Uh, so before I show the, the authentication, let me go to data. Um, what this page does is it hits another part of the API that's protected by that um, Java uh, by the JSON web token. So if I click um, fetch here, you'll notice um, first the, the spinner um, runs for uh, just a second and the API comes back with basically a list of 10 random numbers. But if I want to, I could make this five. If I hit fetch, it's going to just return five uh, random numbers. And basically, this endpoint is protected by that Java web token. So if I go over to a terminal and um, try to hit the endpoint, which is running on uh, port 3000. So this is running on port 8000. So you can see immediately they're, they're running on different services. So all the cores, headers, and all that stuff has to be correct. I get invalid authorization token. But if I pass the same, authentic, the same authentication token that I have uh, here in my, uh, that I got back in the payload, this Java, this JSON web token, I'll be able to hit the endpoint as well. And so finally, uh, if I want, I can log out, and that's going to set the uh, <clears throat> set the app back to the state where I have to log in again.